Lena, thank you. On the heels of the Trump verdict, uh, upside down flags are appearing in some places as well as in some social media posts. It symbolizes a nation in distress. It's associated with Trump supporters and election deniers. Here at home, dozens of upside down flags are flying outside of the Monrovia Library. KTLA's Jennifer McGraw is there live with more for us. Jennifer, good morning. Frank, good morning. Here in the park, dozens of flags have actually been put up in honor of Memorial Day to honor our heroes that sacrificed their lives. But today, now we see them all inverted, flipped upside down. And this was no easy task. It's clear that they had to cut the zip ties and then flip these flags over. And also, it appears to be a political sign of the guilty verdict of former President Donald Trump in the hush money case in New York. The U.S. flag code, which is not legally enforceable, specifically says that the flag is not to be inverted except as a signal of dire distress, an instance of extreme danger to life or property. But in more recent years, it's become political. Pro-Trump Republicans have been using the upside down flag to describe the country in decidedly un-American terms. But it's not just Republicans, but progressives on both sides using the flag to show mounting frustrations in our government. The inverted flag also making headlines this month involving Justice Samuel Alito recently under fire for his inverted flag and another flag appeal to heaven. Take a look at this video that was flown outside the justice's beach home in New Jersey last summer. The Supreme Court Justice Alito says he's not responsible for flying the flags. In fact, he wrote, my wife is fond of flying flags. I am not. In letters to member of the Congress, Alito said his wife was responsible for flying the flags. Both flags were like those carried by protesters who stormed the Capitol in January 2021 while echoing Trump's claims of election fraud. Alito is rejecting calls to step aside from the Supreme Court case involving January 6 defendants. He says the flags don't merit his recusal. Now back out here live, I was just speaking to this city manager here in Monrovia. He says that these flags have been put up. The veterans are going to be out here tomorrow for a picnic, so it's unclear if they'll take the flags down or simply if they'll have crews out here to flip the flags back up right side. That's the very latest. We're live in Monrovia. I'll send it back to you in Hollywood.